All right, all right. What we got here? 1988 Aqua Cruiser. Uh, 36 foot houseboat. 36 foot houseboat. I'm not the best at narrating a video, but myself and Tom will try to get through this video. Now this thing originally did Aqua Sports had fiberglass pontoons and the original owner of this boat he got it from the factory and uh, when one of those pontoons failed he decided he was a, a welder by trade and he decided to have this professionally done with these new aluminum pontoons and he went ahead and he widened the boat at that point too because right now this boat is 15.4 15 15 feet wide and the original boat was about 14 foot wide, but you can see he added on the, the edge here to have a nice walkway, and we'll go up there and look at that. But probably one of the main features about this boat is these amazing pontoons um, and all the extra aluminum and extra welding. And even you can see here on the, the catwalk or whatever, the extra welding and bracing for the handrails. I mean, this thing just got so much new good aluminum put in it and these really solid big pontoons this boat you step on this boat it don't hardly move an inch but another interesting point about this boat is this trailer that it sits on this is our trailer uh it's the 2015 you know gooseneck trailer the boat's sitting on it completely secured and ready to be moved and being that it's already on this trailer and it's not over 16 feet wide and it's not too tall it can be moved by any transport company and you can contact us if you want to get some help with quotes on getting it moved or you can go to uship.com but heck it can go right back in the water here at lake murray real easy or any other lake in south carolina it'd probably only be about five six maybe seven hundred bucks to have it moved since it's already on this trailer which is awesome so let's go on up and take a look at this thing let's walk around back real quick Tom. yeah um, reiterate these pontoons they measure 36 by 36 so they're three feet round three feet tall solid the owner of these pontoons he said he spent fifteen thousand dollars refitting these pontoons on this boat and that's with no labor so that's a lot of aluminum but it was a great upgrade and like tom said in the first part of the video that the guy was a master welder if you look on the back of the boat here there's these awesome jet ski lifts and although they look like they were factory built, the previous owner actually built all of this stuff. And we'll get a better shot of the jet ski lifts. And if you look at the jet ski lifts close, there are two, two electric winches that will move the jet skis up and down. And this boat floats, doesn't have any kind of leak issues or anything like that. Um, we just took it out the water to, you know, get on a trailer to potentially move it. We're not in a big rush to sell it or anything like that. Just got a lot of other projects going on. But, uh, show you what this boat. <laughs> Stepped on the ladder the wrong way there. <laughs> All the wood is solid board. on this boat. There's no soft wood. Yeah, no There's soft no spots. There's no repair issues. There's, this boat does not need anything on the structure of the boat at all. See these nice extra wide walkways. Now, the, does this carpet needs to be replaced? You know, or maybe not if you don't care, but it could use to be replaced, but it is a solid floor. Um, when you come inside here, Although this decor is a little bit dated, it is absolutely clean and there's absolutely no smells whatsoever. There's no mildew smell, there's no gas, you know, fuel type smell, there's no uh, bilge type, uh, you know, gray water tank type smell, you know what I mean. <laughs> there's no smells like that whatsoever. I've been, this, a, I've been in a lot of houseboats, and the first thing you do notice is there is no odors in this boat. Yeah. You go into a lot of houseboats, and they either smell, they either one, they either smell like fuel or something like that, or they smell like mildew, or the worst case scenario, they smell, well, like a porta potty. <laughs> there's no smells like that here. You can look at every drawer in here. It's very, it's, it's, there's nothing crazy going on. This boat's completely emptied out. Um, 
no bugs or anything like that it's just clean empty fridge is in good shape again doesn't smell everything works good everything's clean again now the the core in here is really i mean it might be a little bit dated style wise but it's all in good shape everything's clean comfortable these chairs i mean it's it's really ready to go it does have factory air condition works good there's a real nice dehumidifier here on the boat got a full-size bed back here you could easily modify this and make it a queen size got your water tank access pretty I, easy i believe that's a hundred gallon fresh water so if you're out for a long weekend you don't have to worry about the shower or the sink running out of water you see how clean all that stuff looks you know nothing corroded or crazy all that stuff in pretty good shape i think originally this boat came with a, with a 20 gallon tank and it was upfitted with this so you got your pump toilet right here you got a stall shower that's a pretty decent sized shower it's, it's not you know it's it's easy for any person to get in that shower and another thing about this toilet here, it's got the holding tank that came from the factory. This boat was upfitted with a larger holding tank inside this closet. So if you, like I said, if you're out for extended a period of time, you don't have to worry about waste. It has a large holding tank here and it actually has its own pump to pump it out of the boat. This is a very nice setup if you've ever owned a houseboat. You know what I'm talking about. Again, just can't say how important it is that there's no smells in here whatsoever. Nothing crazy. All right, so here's your your compartment here for generator, and it does have the carport. It would need to probably be reworked or just replace the generator, to be honest with you. Um, but it is a good brand and everything it probably could be made to work the previous owner says it does work but we have not cranked it up right and, and all this all this back here in the back was also built this did not come from the factory like this all this is solid aluminum construction all these holding containers and storage and if you look over here there's a 100 gallon fuel tank which was also added to this boat which is a very nice addition and also if you look at this aluminum 100 gallon fuel tank it also has fuel lines that actually feed to each one of the jet ski lifts so you can actually fuel your jet ski from the fuel tank on the boat which is nice and and these all work good you can see the, the pneumatic uh things still work great it just this carpet needs to be redone if this carpet was redone this yeah, thing awesome. would this thing would look awesome that would still be all right okay. all right let's uh take a look at the roof up here now this roof originally was carpeted, but he redid it in Hydrostop roofing, which is awesome. It is totally solid up here. No soft spots whatsoever. Walk around up here. You could do a nice little setup up here if you wanted to, to have uh, some seating or whatever. Um, totally solid, no soft spots, just completely awesome get a little overhead view too of these jet ski lifts now keep in mind too these jet ski lifts could easily be unbolted and taken off um, but they're such a neat little feature to have on there even just having that option is, is just kayaks, killer a John boat, anything on those lifts. kayaks yeah kayaks would be cool paddle boards whatever you want you know this thing's solid up here It'd be easy to put some little lounge chairs up here whatever you want to do and the fact that it's hydro stop that's that that you know it's not going to leak for many, many years. Something you don't have to worry about. If you ever own a houseboat, you know how leaks are. That's one thing I really like about this boat. Even the capping around the top was added. This big yeah. aluminum capping around the top, it just ensures that there's going to be no sorts of leaks. Yeah, that aluminum capping cool. alone would be hundreds and hundreds of dollars just to buy that aluminum and have it shaped right. And then more or less none putting it on you know and again you could imagine so this is 15.4 feet wide now being 14 feet wide imagine basically you know almost 
what? Shoot, that'd be a good. It's about a six inch walk away. Yeah, so imagine this only being six inches versus what it is now. You know, it, it makes it so much easier to walk around the whole boat, so much easier when you're docking it and things like that. Um, so it's just fantastic to have this, this nice walkway here. Now, we can talk about um, this, uh, this motor. It does appear that it probably has good compression. It's got a hydraulic steering system that, you know, should be able to easily be made working. All the electrical stuff, it looks pretty intact. But this motor does not crank, you know, it would absolutely need to be overhauled, um, you know, a good full overhaul to be, uh, to be seaworthy, okay? So one thing that appeals to me about this houseboat is the fact that it does have a single outboard engine. Yeah. And if you've ever yeah. dealt with an inboard engine on a houseboat, there's a lot of issues and problems. An outboard's four volts, you can put a new engine on just like that. Yep having an inboard well that's part of the reason why this thing probably smells so good is it doesn't have an inboard motor um so you know inboard is just harder to work on harder to ever upgrade if you ever wanted to with an outboard it's just so easy to do you know so in any case um it really is a good clean boat it's got some amazing custom stuff that's been done to it. That'd be hard. You'd be hard pressed to uh, to redo something like this or find something unique. Something that's got this much interior space, but still just has one motor to deal with, and it's not super long. You know, you could actually still have a pretty much a one man operation of this boat. A lot of bigger houseboats, much bigger than this. You got to have two, if not three, very experienced pre people to safely operate a boat like that whereas this really just a couple you know could easily do it but one person it's not so big that one person couldn't even take it out and cruise this thing a little bit so it's got a lot of it's a cool middle uh boat like that it's still good absolutely a good kitchen you got your little fold out couch right here you're not cramped up in here the bedroom is a very respectable size you know, it's just kind of best of both worlds with the outboard motor and everything. Um, and, and also being a good houseboat, all this deck space up front right here, I mean, that's a lot of sheltered deck space right there. Easy to have another little four top table and some lounge chairs. To have all that stuff in this kind of mid size package is great. You know, and, and again, this decor might be old, but you could easily paint these cabinets and you know, repanel these walls or paint these walls, change it up or, you know, leave it like this Miami Vice style, you know, however you want to be. Um, but it's just clean, priced very fair, um, needs just a little bit of that motor work on however you want to power the boat. And it's really ready to have a great time on this thing as is. Um, the trailer does not come with the boat, but you're more than welcome to use it to transport it. Unless yeah. you want to fork over, you know, we'll put that in the description or you can call. Yeah, having this boat already on a trailer like that, trust me, coordinating to move and trailer a big boat like this, it takes a lot. Um, it actually took us a while to have that done. So that's a big piece of the puzzle uh, right there. This boat's ready to transport. That's a huge part of it. And it's on Lake Murray, South Carolina, obviously, if you're anywhere in the middle part of South Carolina, that'd probably be the lake you'd want to be on anyway, so it'd be real easy to get it right back in the water here. All right, well, hey, thanks for watching the video. You can give uh, give us a call, the description down below, 843-532-1759. Uh, give me a call, and we'll talk about it. And it's uh, titled in South Carolina, so it's got a South Carolina title on it. All right.